Hi, this is Rick with 360 Computer Care. Uh, I'm going to talk to you today about how to modify a Dell Optiplex 790 so that you can fit a uh, Radeon HD 7970 graphics card. This is a top of the line graphics card here, uh, rated in the top 15 uh, graphics cards at this time. Um, so this uh, computer has a nice uh, processor and everything, uh, but uh, doesn't come with uh, top of the line graphics if you want to turn it into a gaming computer. Uh, the problem that you run into if you want to put this particular card in is that uh, this computer comes with uh, hard drive caddies that mount into the frame here. So you have to actually modify the chassis to uh, make this graphics card fit. Um, so all you have to do is if you take the faceplate off There are two rivets here that can be drilled out. Okay, those are what holds uh, this in at this point on the inside. Okay, and then there's three rivets here at the bottom, these three holes, which line up with these three holes on the inside. Again, those need to be drilled out. And then on the bottom, there's three more holes, three more rivets and those line up with uh, this part of the hard drive caddy. So again this is in here, this is keeping you from putting in the graphics card that you want. Um, so you drill one, two, three rivets, one, two, three rivets on the front, and one, two more rivets on the front, and then uh, this will slide out this way. You might need to use a pry bar, but these latch into the bottom um, of the tower itself. So, But once those rivets are drilled out, you can slide this out and it'll come right out. So then your problem is, where do I put my hard drive? In most cases, you're only going to have one hard drive. Um, there is a three and a half inch slot here. Um, you can mount it. Uh, right in here um, and it'll work just fine. I put a little foam in between there uh, just as a shock absorber. Um, uh, hard drives are uh, um, you know vibrate and tend to, tend to vibrate and that could cause problems with the hard drive. So I put some foam in there just to keep it nice and steady and absorb the shock uh, so nothing's going to go wrong with the hard drive. In this particular model we also put a solid state drive um, so I mounted that here to the front um, but in most cases you're not going to be dealing with this. Um, the other modification you have to make uh, if you want to use this card is you're going to have to upgrade your power supply. In this case we use a smart 650 watt power supply. What's important here is that you need to have an 8 pin uh, PCIe connector and a 6 pin PCIe connector. This is uh, a standard uh, PCIe 16 uh, graphics card but you need this uh, extra power to power the card. Um, so this is how you take a standard business computer and modify it into a gaming computer. Um, again, um, this particular card didn't have the room, but with these steps you can easily uh, modify it and uh, turn your office computer into a gaming computer. Um, so uh, then just to put it back together, once you've got the card in, you've got the power supply in, uh, just put your... Uh, front plate back on. One thing that's important um, when you do drill out the rivets in the beginning, um, you want to uninstall your motherboard. You don't want to get any metal filings or, uh, bumping around on your motherboard, uh, so that's really important. I probably should have mentioned that first. Um, so, um, because those metal shavings could uh, short out some contacts. Um, so then once you're done, put your faceplate back on, put your side back on, and uh, what you end up with here is a graphics card that rates at 7.9 on Windows Arrow and 7.9 on 3D uh, gaming graphics. Um, and it can be used for business graphics too if you're doing graphic design, uh, designing video games, uh, whatever your business uh, might, uh, might need. Uh, but it's going to increase your uh, overall rating. Uh, dramatically in this computer and like I said turn a standard business computer uh, with a nice processor 
into um, a very nice gaming system. So again, this is Rick with 360 Computer Care, and I uh, hope this helps somebody out there. Uh, if you need to modify an Optiplex 790 into a gaming system, uh, this is the best way to do it.